Cadet's log. Despite my best efforts, Robin continues to isolate himself, and it's really hurting his performance. Corrin's grades are still low, and this morning I was called into Rothro's office. Enter. Cadet, I understand you have a busy and full schedule, but that does not account for your performance in the simulator. I expect much better from you and your crew. Yes, sir. Have you seen Korn's ratings for this simulation? No, sir. Korn's ratings have improved dramatically. But there's still an issue with Cadet Brady's performance. I'll talk to Robin about it, sir. Good. Robin is technically proficient, but has trouble meshing with the team. Additional study won't improve his scores. He needs to feel comfortable as a member of your team. Sir, what happens if Robin's scores don't improve? The only way Cadet Brady's scores won't improve is if he can't handle the simulator. His class works fine. It's your job to make sure he does well in the simulator. Dismissed. McGee, what are you doing here? David, I am Dismissed, not going to... Dismissed, Cadet! Yes, sir! Cadet's log, supplemental. I'm worried about Magia, but until I get a chance to talk to her, there's really nothing I can do. Hello, David. Faith Gage. Oh, yes, Faith. How are you doing? Good. Uh, do you mind if I sit? No, go ahead. Thank you. I'm glad I have a chance to talk to you. You know, Corrin talks a lot about you. No, I'm glad you came by. I... I wanted to talk to you, actually. About one of my crew, Robin Brady? Yeah. Are you two... No. No. Uh, <laughs> I have him in a few of my classes, but um, other than engineering, he doesn't seem to have many other interests. Well, he's pulled his head out of a Jeffrey's tube long enough to develop a crush on you. <laughs> yeah. He's a nice kid, but um, I... Couldn't possibly be interested in someone whose whole life is dilithium matrices. Yeah, I know. I, um, I've been trying to get him out more. Yeah. Do you have any suggestions? Well, yeah, why doesn't he join one of the groups on campus? David, have you been watching the news? No, why? Rother has been repeating the announcement We've every five minutes. We've been official confirmation that the Federation colony on Bicea was destroyed two days ago by unknown forces. There are no survivors. McGee had relatives on Bicea, didn't she? Your mom lived on that planet. Mm. They better give her some leave time. Well, Bicea was one of the disputed worlds, wasn't it? Right along the Klingon neutral zone? Correct. Mm -hmm. Before the Organian Peace Treaty, both the Federation and the Klingon Empire had a claim to Bicea. Yeah, McGee, you must feel so awful. Sorry. McGee, I'm sorry. Thank you, David. All of you for your concern. We can put our missions on hold during your leave of absence. That won't be necessary. As your captain, I could order you to take some time off. You would be exceeding your authority. McGee. Yeah. I am going to study now. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh. Cadet's log, supplemental. Now what am I going to do? Cadet's log. Despite her recent loss, McGee came through just fine in the last sim. So I guess Starfleet knows best. Although I'm still very worried about her. On the other hand, Robin's scores continue to drop. Enter. Robin, come on and have a seat. David, you want to talk to me? Robin, I want to talk to you about the team. I thought everything was going okay. Oh, it is, it is. But uh, I want you to spend more time with the team. Outside the simulator. <laughs> Do I have to? Robin, we just... We want your company. At least come to our poker games. I never know what to say to the others. And you'll never know if you don't try. 
How am I supposed to get anything done if I'm socializing? What? Am I supposed to stay out all night like Corin does? You gotta find a balance. Just like Corin. I don't... I don't like socializing. I like... Transporter matrices. Matter to energy conversions. The new replicator theories. Robin, the best place for you to learn all about that is here. I'm not sure I'll ever fit in. Look, if you leave the academy, you'll never know how, how good you could have been, how far you could have gone. That's not fair. This is easy for you. You fit in. Everybody likes you. Everybody really likes you. You must have noticed by now that I don't fit in. Robin, Robin, sit down, okay? It's really hard on me. That's why you need to socialize more. Look, the only way to fit in is to go into that lounge and face them. I'll try, David. I'll try and socialize more. Great. And then maybe we can talk about some of those replicator theories you're working on, huh? I'd like that. Okay. Look, I'll, I'll see you in the lounge, okay? Thanks, David. Cadet's log supplemental. You know, just when you think you're handling a problem, another appears. This time, it was by Sia again. The Klingon Empire had nothing to do with the loss of the Bicea colony. However, there is bitter justice in the colony's failure. The Federation should never have put fragile Andorians and humans on such a hostile world. Only Klingons could have tamed Bicea. Liar! What about the energy readings on Bicea? Didn't they show Klingon disruptors destroyed the colony? The trace energy on Bicea was similar to the patterns made by Klingon disruptors. But that does not conclusively prove Klingon involvement. Oh, so was all those other races on the Klingon border that used disruptors. Why are you defending the Klingons, Sturek? Though I regret your personal loss, I must point out that Bicea was not a particularly important colony. Nor was it strategically placed. It is illogical to assume that the Klingons would start a war in a world that would gain them so little. Well, isn't that just like a Vulcan? Using logic to deny the obvious. Face it, Milan. You've lost this argument. We need to change the Federation's whole approach toward the Klingons. Interesting point. How do you propose to do that? If you ask me, the Vanguard is the right answer. The Vanguard? What's that? It is a group that is as tired as you are of the Federation's response to outside threats. The Vanguard says it's time for humans to take care of humans. I see. And what about all the other races that are a part of the Federation? That's just what I'm talking about. What's that supposed to mean? The races inside the Federation already live the right way. It's the races outside of the Federation that are the problem. Well, I better be going. I got a Xeno Psych class. See you later, Milan. Sounds fascinating. Sounds frightening. They might be possibly just what the Federation needs. Look, I don't know what the Federation needs, but I need a drink. <laughs> here, here. Welcome, cadets. We are conducting an experiment in the Alpha Hercule system using charged tachyon particles to increase the efficiency of a conventional warp drive. We set up the USS Hawking, an Oberth-class vessel, to perform the experiment and we will need you to observe at close range and perform data analysis. 
That is all. Good luck. Captain's log, stardate 3173.4. We're traveling to the Alpha Hercule system to observe an engineering experiment that is being conducted aboard the USS Hawking. Everything appears routine. Course laid in, Captain. Entering Alpha Hercule system. The experiment will begin when we get close to the USS Hawking. There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. Captain, the Hawking is currently unmanned. We are now in range. The experiment can begin. Initial tachyon burst. Dispersion at 10 million tachyons per cubic meter. 29. 39. by the bird of prey. Hailing frequency open. The Klingon Empire will not permit you to create another Project Genesis. We have the right to defend ourselves. Leave the system now or be destroyed. The coward didn't even give us a chance to respond. Working on it. Port side shields online. Upper shields repaired. Shields online. Port side shields repaired. Upper shields down to fifty percent. Port side shields have been hit. Upper shields are at critical, sir. Phasers are online again, ready to fire on your orders. Port side shields repaired. We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. Port side lower shields are critical, sir. That shield system is damaged. Lower shields online. What happened? 
happened back there? The disruption split the ship into two parts, Captain. We must get the other Tempest back here and use the Tachyon device to reunite ourselves. The Tachyon burst has weakened our structural integrity. Unless we're reunited, both ships will be destroyed. Captain, the other Tempest warped to the Dante system. But why? I think I can guess. Six years ago, my Uncle Alan was killed in a skirmish with the Klingons in that system. I'm sorry, David. <sighs> Uncle Alan died commanding the USS Essex. He'd always come back every year or two and tell me stories and, and give me stuff that he picked up in all the systems he went to. I guess he's one of the reasons I'm going into Starfleet. When he died, I was mad. I, I was mad enough to kill. And when Dante was awarded to the Klingons, I got even madder. Now I've gotten over it, but... You still have those emotions in your subconscious, Captain. And the commander of the duplicate ship may be driven by your subconscious. Course laid in, Captain. Lower shields repaired. Forward shields online. Entering the Dante system. Captain, the Tempest is heading towards Dante 2. Forward shields repaired. Hi, Davy. How you doing? Look, you imposter. I order you to surrender immediately. We don't have much time. We've got to get back to Alpha Hercule and get ourselves back together. Oh, sorry, Davy, but I don't care about you or my own survival. There's something I have to do, and I'll either do it or I'll die. Isn't that what Starfleet's all about? The success of the mission? By the way, Vanda, if he hasn't told you that you're incredibly attractive, then I will. That's all. Bye, Dave. We got our engines back online, Captain. You can take her into warp any time now. Repaired. Port side shields have been hit. Forward shields repaired. Forward shields repaired. The object is too fast to track her, Captain.
the object is too fast to track the pocket. Object is out of range. We have the Tempest in our tractors, Captain. Course laid in, Captain. No response, Captain. Our counterpart has been disabled, Captain. No response, Captain. There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. Starting the Tachyon Pulse procedure. Well, let's hope this works. I've had enough of a split personality as it is. Constitution complete. Our structural integrity is now normal. Wasn't that recombining process just a little too easy, Mr. Sturk? It's only a simulation, Jeff. I think I need to have a long talk with Chekhov about this one. Course laid in, Captain. Captain, the Hawking is currently unmanned. There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. Hailing frequency open. Mission accomplished, Starfleet. Permission to speak freely, sir. Go ahead, Mr. Forrester. Why... Why did you take things that were personal and use it against me? Because, Mr. Forrester, we're trying to prepare you for what's out there. The unknown. There are things in space that will do everything they can to turn you into an emotional creeple. And if we have to tear open all wounds and rub a little salt in, we'll do it. Yes, sir. Don't worry, son. You did well. Just remember, we can't prepare you for everything, but we can certainly try. Dismissed. <laughs>